today we're going to be doing some chest work. So we're going to be attacking our chest using resistance bands. We're going to be attacking all sections of our chest using just resistance bands. So if you're interested in something like this, stick around for this video right here. One thing though, don't expect to build a huge or a massive chest using just resistance bands. You're going to need more resistance or you're going to need something with you know more weight, some heavier dumbbells maybe or a barbell, whatever it is that you can get access to you know that's got more weight to it is what you would want to go for for a size and strength goal. So these are great for staying fit, keeping active and building aesthetics. So getting cut, getting shredded, these can help you out with that. So if you're interested in that, stick around and let's get right to it, man. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. For the first workout here, we've got some chest flies X close grip press. Four sets, 10 repetitions each. For this workout, as well as every workout in this routine, you want to make sure that you're using resistance bands that you're comfortable with and then stacking them up for you know more challenging workouts. So start by grabbing a good point to increase the tension. For me, that's just the point below the handles. Yours can be halfway through, whatever you know increases the most or provides the most tension. Here's the first tip you guys should note right here. So you want to bring the bands together at the center at the top while maintaining only a slight bend in your elbows when doing, you know, the flies. Next up, you want to switch to a close grip and press down and back up to complete one set of the hybrid or one rep of the hybrid. Next tip here, you want to also make sure that your arms are always fully extended before bringing them up. So always bring them down and along your sides and fully extend them before you take them or you know bring them back up. Here's the next tip right here. Make sure you squeeze your chest every single time you bring the bands up, especially when doing the close grip variation of this. Final tip for this one right here. You want to make sure that you keep your legs on the floor and control your breathing. So breathe in when you push up and out when you bring the bands down. Okay, these tips apply to every single workout in this. So you want to take 45 seconds to one minute break between each set, as well as one minute break between each and every single exercise. For the next workout in this routine, we're gonna be doing some band push-ups. So four sets, 15 repetitions each set. Like the first workout, you also want to make sure that you're starting with lightweight, you know, resistance bands or whatever is comfortable for you. And for this one, you want to start by grabbing a good point to increase tension, wrap the bands around your upper back and push up against the resistance from the band. Here's the next tip for you guys. You want to hold the bands between your thumb and your index finger and keep the tension in your bands throughout. For the next tip here, you want to keep your back and your butt straight and parallel to the ground throughout. You cannot have your butt, you know, all over the place, all up in the air. You gotta keep that straight throughout. Our next tip for this one right here don't rush through it control your breathing breathe in when you push up and out when you go down this applies for every single band exercise you want to always breathe in when you pull and out when you let go Okay, for the next one here, we've got some single to low double chest flies. Four sets, 10 repetitions each. For this one as well, make sure you're working with lightweights or whatever is more comfortable for you, you know, as regards the band, and start by grabbing the handles with an underhand grip and then lift it up. Okay, for the next tip here, you want to make sure that 
alternating between both hands, you lift the bands to your shoulder level. So lift also towards the opposite chest, the opposite side of your chest. Okay, for our next tip here, you want to make sure that you do a double low fly next by lifting both bands at the same time to meet each other at the center. So you do this right after you do the single um, uh, flies and then you go ahead and you do the double one to complete one rep of this hybrid right here. My next tips for you guys. So make sure you keep your back straight throughout this entire workout. The entire way through your back has to maintain its, you know, uh, position. For the next and final tip for this one, make sure you bring the bands to meet at the center every time you do the double version of the low flies. They always gotta meet at the center, that's very important. So make sure that's happening so you can get that full squeeze on your chest as best as you can. For the next exercise here, we've got some floor press to chest flies. Four sets, 10 repetitions as well. Okay, follow the resistance band weight rule that we've been following throughout. And for this one, start with bands wrapped around your back. Create tension by grabbing a good point with an underhand grip. Next tip for this one right here, in order to complete uh, the floor press, start with elbows on the floor and with your thumbs facing each other. And then you go ahead and just push the, the bands, just push them up, just push them up and bring them to meet at the center. Next tip right here, twist and rotate your hands until your thumbs are pointing upwards to complete one chest fly. So, and then just do that. Just bring it, once you, once you get down there, you twist the uh, resistance bands, twist your hands and just pull them upwards, just push them upwards, bring them together. While we're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon if you're new. And the next tip right here. So make sure your hands meet at the top for both exercises, you know, before bringing down uh, your arms. Final tip for this one right here, you gotta make sure that you're squeezing your chest on every single rep. Every time you bring the bands up, you squeeze your chest. This is mandatory, This is there's no argument right here. You don't squeeze your chest, you're not getting the full range of motion. Our next exercise here is high to neutral chest flies. Four sets, 10 repetitions each. Okay, for this one, you also want to make sure you follow the same weight rules with the bands. And you want to start with the bands under one foot behind you, hold the bands out wide with only a slight bend in, in your elbow. So you gotta make sure that, you know, it's all the way out for you to get that full range of motion. Here's the next tip for this one. You want to start by lifting the bands above your head while maintaining a slight bend in your elbows for a high fly. That's how you will complete that one. For the second part of the hybrid right here, you want to lower the height or the level of the bands and proceed to complete a neutral fly by bringing the bands to meet at the center. So more lateral, more straight, you know, more than overhead. <laughs> For our next tip here, you want to make sure that you're performing each high fly with your head behind your arms, not in front of it or in line with it. It always has to be behind. So when you bring the weights or the bands upwards, you want to make sure your head is behind. And for our next tip here, make sure the bands meet at the center every time you do a neutral fly while keeping your elbows slightly bent. You got to maintain that slight bend in your elbows as well. Okay, for our final workout in this one, single to double decline floor presses. Four sets, 10 repetitions each. So stick with the same rules for, you know, the resistance band weights you're working with, and then make sure that for this one, you start in a decline position with your band wrapped around your back, grab good points to create tension in the bands as well. 
and for decline you just want to have your butt upwards that's all okay my first tip for this one you want to start by pushing the bands in the direction of the opposite chest alternating hands each rep so you got to keep you got to do each one first and then for the second uh, workout in this hybrid, you want to do a double decline floor press by pushing the bands to meet at the center. This counts for one rep of the hybrid. So if you do, if, when you do each single one and one double, then you've done one rep. My next tip for this one, you want to keep your butt off the floor and hold the decline throughout. You should only be resting on your upper back. Finally, do not forget our 45 second to one minute break between each set. Okay, so there you go right there. So one thing I'll let you know right now is when you train your chest, especially when you're standing up, you're going to hit your front delts. Besides that, if you enjoy the video, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and smash the bell icon so you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I drop a brand new video. If you want to see some more videos like this one, make sure to click on the video on the screen right now and I shall catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I am out, y'all.